Okay, our uh, our next project is to stain our stock. So get your favorite stain out. As I said, mine is homemade, but that doesn't make it better. It just makes it mine. <laughs> it uh, allows me to uh, have something that's just a little bit different than what you'll find on a shelf. I think in this case I'd be better off if I wore some gloves. Put some gloves on just to keep from staining me. Because this stain will is pretty permanent. It wears off more than it washes off. And we'll go ahead and, and simply apply it. Now, many places will tell you Many instructions will tell you to um, take a damp cloth and uh, damp the wood and let it dry and that will raise the whiskers and that's that's good advice in this case we're using a water-based stain so I am applying water to the uh, wood and it will raise the whiskers and they will be sanded off when we as soon as the stain dries and it raises the grain. So this is not exactly once again it's not exactly rocket surgery or even brain science. It's just applying stain to wood. Now, different stains will give you different methods of application. And some they're going to tell you to use a, a rag or a sponge or uh, whatever. In this case, water-based is probably the most basic type of stain you're going to find. And I'm simply applying it with a brush. No, uh, no secrets here. And of course you can make this lighter easily by simply adding water to it if you don't like the how dark it makes the wood. But I'm going to do a sanded in finish. And if you don't know what that is, you'll find this is uh, an interesting process. Uh, the sand, the wood has grain to it. It has uh, little pockets, little uh, like pores, uh, some more than others, uh, probably the biggest, uh, their best uh, example is oak, oak has very noticeable pores, well not, not so much but it certainly has some, if you look at it closely you'll, you'll see that there's little pockets in there, hung that up to dry. And I will do the same thing with the stock. And I will try and stain the inside and the butt plate but and trying to keep everything the same so it doesn't look like part of it was forgotten So this is going to both stain the stock and raise the grain so that any whiskers that come up, loose ends, will stand up and when we rub this down with a, a 
abrasive. It will cut off those whiskers. Some stacks have a lot of them, some have virtually none. It just depends on the density of the wood itself. What do you think? Looks pretty good to me. Now, when we finish this, we're going to give this 24 hours to dry to make sure it's good and dry before we start putting any uh, finish over it. You don't want to put finish over it and have uh, uh, water still in the grain underneath it. So we want to make sure it's good and dry. Probably doesn't need all of 24 hours, but we're going to err on the side of caution here. And as you see, I'm trying to cover everything. I'm trying to make sure that every part of this is uniform. It may be a little bit of overkill, but not too much. Try to make sure everything's been covered. Any place that ran is find some light areas. You might want to go over them again. didn't get enough stain on them the first time and they're sitting there looking much lighter than the rest of the stock so we're just going to try and make it even coverage and if you end up doing a second coat on the whole thing so what so it's a little darker and we're going to take care of that in the next step anyway. As we get into sanding in finish, we will remove some of the stain from the surface so it will lighten somewhat. It depends whether if you like your stocks dark or light. I happen to like mine pretty dark. <clears throat> okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, and we're going to now set this aside to dry. I said we'll give it about 24 hours to uh, totally dry before we start putting any finish on it. We're going to shut it down now, and tomorrow, when that has, has uh, stain has dried very well on that stock, we'll start the finishing process. So I'll be back with you shortly. It'll seem shortly to you. It'll be tomorrow for me. And until then, this is the old singing gunsmith saying, happy trails. 
Happy trails to you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.